Hey, this is Alex from Gretel. Today we're going to walk through using Gretel's Transforms API to both identify sensitive personal information inside of a data set and then change it. Go ahead and click Choose File. From here, go to Transforms Use Case. I'm going to select a data set here. It's a little bit of a torture test for NLP. Um, we're going to be looking at email addresses uh, and email uh, raw content from an open source example. Click Create New Project. So we're uploading the data set right now to Gretel. We're going to choose which API we want to run. Today we're going to run transforms, which will do deterministic automatic transforms to the data. What is a transform? It can be anything that you want. In this example here, we're going to identify person names, credit card numbers, phone numbers, and other attributes here, and we're going to automatically remove that. Um, in this case, we're telling our transform API to replace it with fake data. If a fake data generator does not exist, we're going to replace it with a hash. Um, another key uh, thing to call it here is that we're running NLP, so we're running names and age recognition on this data. This is a key for a free text field um, that you want to um, use essentially machine learning or a neural network to process the data and search for these examples of names and addresses and other entities. We'll click Run Transform. Here we can see an example of our data set. Often these types of data sets are used to train chatbots or train natural language understanding algorithms, and they have, as you can see here, often personal information, um, such as names, um, phone numbers, and email addresses that you don't want your neural network to learn. You don't want to simply replace these with X's or redact them, um, because then that could uh, lead your machine learning algorithm to over-index on the, uh, the wrong attributes. So what we're going to do instead is simply replace this PII with fake versions of the data. So whereas we see Patty Young and Carol and Ralph here, when the data transformation is complete, they should be replaced with artificial fake names. Here we can see the default configuration loading up. You can see the worker in the cloud starting up. You have the option with Gretel of either running a worker in the cloud or deploying the worker to your own environment. For example, if you want to run inside of a VPC. And we can see the container has been started inside of our cloud. It's going to be processing these emails and will give us the transform data set in just a minute. You can see now that data transformations are complete and we can get a quick overview of the results and the types of entities that were just discovered across this data set. To get a closer look, click View Results. Inside the results, we can see for each different entity type, whether email addresses, locations, person names, or phone numbers, uh, the total amount of each different entity that was detected in the data set and the fields in which it existed. For final, now let's go ahead and take a look at this transformed data set and see how it compares to our original. Here, go ahead and open this up. And we can see here where we have Patty and Monty and the other users from before, we can see it replaced with Charles May, Patty Young, Gregory Hall, and Ra Randy Martinez. So entirely fake artificial data. We can see phone numbers have been replaced and we can also see that email addresses have been replaced. So this is a good example of a transformation you may wish to do to natural language text before training a synthetic model such as a chatbot um, or a natural language understanding model on top of it. <laughs>